Hey there guys, it's Jerry. So I thought I would show you my Beltane altar. I've decided not to do the serious video today. I'm going to wait until I feel a bit better and do do it then. So I'm going to show you this instead because it's looking pretty and ready for tomorrow. So the idea behind this altar is that it is twofold. It is supposed to represent the Fae aspect of Avalon and it is representative of self-healing through self-love, through the taking of universal love into oneself for the purpose of rebuilding oneself for love, for healing. So as usual we have the elemental points and spirit at the back there and um, with all their crystals and the little guardians in each corner over here this is the goddess candle so plain white candle and down the bottom we have some appropriate Beltane herbs and that's the same for the god candle over there and there are some seasonal offerings in the goddess offering bowl at the back a few offerings for the Morrigan now on here because she insisted on being on this altar in the seasonal respect as well, so she she is. And I think we'll work from the outside in. So there's a ring of amethyst as always, and in the little offering bowl is some Beltane mix. Then we have nine candles of the alternating Beltane colours. It was all about that I was on the whole video yesterday if you want to know about the meanings but there are nine candles for the nine ladies of Avalon and it's also the goddess number three by three so then we have the fairy quartz and the rose quartz and sugalite, iolite and petalite three of each by three so again nine making that very fey in a circle there are three garnet on the little power cauldron part, the, the tea lights as always, the little mushrooms. The goddess statue has been turned so we now have the mother facing me with the three crystals, rose quartz at the front and Beltane appropriate herbs on there. So there we go. May you have a very blessed Beltane. Many blessings.